Hello YouTube! I finally got in the the second uh, automatic offering for this year from uh, Chinese manufacturing Genzo. Uh, so this is the model G7212GR and uh, I would like to uh, make a little bit of, of, of comparison between the, the previous uh, model released for this year, the G719G, and why I think uh, this model is a little bit better. So, if you like uh, automatic knives and you want something on a budget, well made, I will just check out these uh, knives. Uh, Genzo is, is a Chinese manufacturer and uh, they have great uh, quality control and fit and finish. So for the price that you are paying. Uh, okay, so uh, you can find them on, on eBay and on uh, different uh, knife related uh, sites. Okay, so they give you a uh, full metal so stainless steel construction uh, with a uh, nice inlaid uh, G10 and this is, uh, in my opinion, a bet better G10 than all the, the other uh, crappy <laughs> Chinese uh, uh, G10s. So the button is uh, sits flush with a little bit of of texture really nice snappy action as you can see um, centering is a little bit off but expected at the price point uh, the, probably the only only uh, downside is the position of the of the pocket clip um, you should not open this knife accidentally uh, by itself, but uh, when you are carrying it uh, in your right pocket, this could be a dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, position because if if somehow this knife would open, then obviously this would poke out in your in your. Uh, <laughs> in your area that you don't want to to come in contact with the knife <laughs> so uh, I would suggest uh, carrying it uh, on the opposite side so in the left pocket and then it is perfectly uh, safe because uh, then uh, it will touch the, the the closed side of the of the pocket um, when you are comparing it with the with the G 719 G uh, this is a much high uh, this is a much heavier knife because obvious reasons uh, the pocket clip side is uh, full stainless steel and therefore more material with more weight they could go with uh, with um, aluminium but f maybe for uh, reasons like uh, construction and durability they uh, they choose to use uh, a full stainless steel and the action on this one is a little bit uh, it feels a little bit cheaper a little bit uh, greedy as you can hear you need to push all the all the way in the the knife to open it this is smooth in comparison the the length they are i would say uh, 
maybe maybe the the G seventeen nineteen is a little bit uh, smaller, but maybe just one or two millimeters. So yes, if this knife would have an option to put the the pocket clip here, then it will be a very nice uh, knife and would have no flaws. Somebody uh, maybe would say uh, they could put a, a lock to to lock the knife, and that would be also uh, good. But not everybody wants to wants to have a knife locked, and in a critical situation, you will be not able to open it. And the the pivot screw is is a little bit to the side, so you cannot uh, change change it through the hole. You need to uh, take down the pivot, but. Yeah, but overall for the money, very nice uh, utility, uh, everyday carry. Maybe they could put a little bit of, of uh, jimping on the top because the knife is, uh, is stone washed and it's very smooth. Both of them. This gives you a little bit more purchase because of the of the design of the ramp here. This is just you need to be very careful. Obviously, this so uh, isn't isn't is no technical knife because you can slip easily and cut yourself. But for the money, uh, maybe a nice desk knife for opening letters and packages. Uh, quick to access. Maybe you can use it uh, in your car for emergency purposes because you you can quickly deploy it. Yeah, the G10 is good. Uh, like on all Genzo knives, they are using uh, 440C. What is, in my opinion, a good steal for the price. Also on this one. Uh, in the past, they they have uh, focused on on benchmade, uh, benchmade lookalikes or benchmade designs, and but uh, this year they are putting out. Uh, very interesting designs that could be um, original. No, maybe not. But uh, for the price point and uh, availability, they are very nice. So I I would highly recommend them to uh, for everybody who is on the budget and don't want to spend uh, two thousand three uh, two hundred <laughs> or three hundred dollars on a on a on a microtech or a, or or Protec, or any custom in that matter. But why not? If you have the money, you should go for it. Okay, so was that just a quick, quick demo of the of the new uh, Genzo G. G7212 GR and they come in uh, different uh, G10 uh, variants just now they are available in green and uh, black but maybe down the road in a few months they will be also available in in colors like orange, blue and other thanks for watching and have a nice day, bye